It is with these individuals, both the, the precious loved ones who we've lost as well as folks who either are positive testing or will positive test, with all of that clearly in mind, that I make uh, the following announcements. This morning, I signed an executive order directing nearly all of our nine million residents to quite simply stay at home. As I said, we must flatten the curve and ensure residents are practicing social distancing. As I have said before, we can no longer maintain a sense of business as usual during this emergency. And again, I repeat, just as it is no time to panic, but it is time to be smart, proactive, transparent, aggressive, it is also no time for business as usual. And as we work in continued and increasing partnership with our neighboring states, in particular New York, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, and Delaware, it becomes even more vital that we all speak with one voice. We cannot run the risk of residents from one state simply moving their parties or their shopping habits across state lines. So under this executive order, all gatherings are canceled until further notice. This means no weddings, in-person services, or even parties. This decision is not an easy one, and it pains me that important life moments will not be celebrated in the way we are accustomed to. And I know this will be disappointing to many residents, but my singular goal, our singular goal, not to mention, frankly, my job, is to make sure we get through this emergency so that you can safely gather with family and friends later and enjoy many more birthdays and weddings in the years to come. Any place people congregate is a place where coronavirus can be spread. This is no time for anyone to be acting selfishly and taking a gathering underground. But this is the time to think about your family, your friends, your neighbors, and to do the right thing. Additionally, I urge those who have homes at the Jersey Shore to not go to them at this time. The local infrastructure, especially the healthcare infrastructure, and especially in off season, is not prepared for the influx of part-time residents. So there's, no, there's absolutely no excuse for a party on the beach. Please stay at your primary residences. Further, I am directing all non-essential retail businesses to indefinitely close their physical stores to the public effective at 9 p.m. tonight. Only, and by the way, 9 p.m. in particular out of respect of the Sabbath. Only businesses critical to our response may remain physically open to the public, and that is an increasingly limited list. Grocery stores and food banks, pharmacies, medical marijuana dispensaries, medical supply stores, gas stations, auto mechanics and repair services, convenience stores, banks and other financial institutions, hardware and home improvement stores, laundromats and dry cleaners, printing and office supply shops, pet stores, stores that sell supplies for young children, mail and delivery shops, and as we've already noted, restaurants, liquor stores, and bars providing takeout services. Additionally, all essential state, county, and local public health, safety, and social services will remain accessible.